Alright people, welcome back to another ban list related video. I know I made way too much of these, but eh, why not? Let's go, let's do one more, thing. one more. So, we should begin the ban list sometime this week, of course. And I was like, you know what? Instead of doing another, you know, ban list prediction, ban list prediction, let me go ahead and just give my opinion about what I would like to see. Because, you know, uh, a lot of people are doing more wish list than ban list predictions, which drives me crazy. Because it's just like, oh, in the title, ban list prediction. And then in their freaking video, like, oh, well, you know, I want this card to come back. Or I want this card to get hit because I don't like it. Or oh, Konami, please bring it back. Or it should come back. Or it has to come back. And it's just like, where's the evidence? Where's the precedence? You know, where's anything? It's just a whole bunch of p wishes in once. So, uh, majority of the time, you know, I do an unbiased ban prediction. And, you know, you guys really don't know how I feel about particular cards if I don't have to talk about them. Or if they don't have any precedent. So, you know, I have a compiled list of cards here that I'm going to go ahead and at least talk about them and give my opinions about how I feel about some of these things. And, uh, yeah, so I'm not sure how long this video will be, but, uh, yeah, just go ahead and sit back, relax, listen, and uh, hopefully we get at least some of these changes that I would like to see on this upcoming list for the TCG. So, uh, of course, starting off, these two banned. Like, this this card is just unhealthy just in general, just how it locks your opponent out of special summoning. I don't care if it's only good just because of Necros. It's good to go ahead and address it now that Necros is a popular deck now, so future ritual decks don't just do the same thing. It's the same thing when it came to, you know, Dragon Rulers and Super Injuve. Super Injuve has always been a stupid card, but it was just enough for Dragon Rulers to, you know, open Konami's eyes and be like, Oh, Super Injuve is a stupid card, let's ban it! You know, simple as that, you know, return to different dimension as well. So, uh, I feel like Dijin is in that same boat where, yeah... Rituals in general, you don't need this guy. You know, you have other uh, Nojigen cards, but him in particular, this fat ass, he needs to go. He's, he's the one that should be on. Same thing with Royal Magical Library. Was it busted before? Yes, it's always been a very sacky piece of shit card deck. But now, with Chicken Race, FTK, and Ignite's being stupid with it, it's obvious that uh, this card is time for it to get to dress. It's time for it to go ahead and get banned. Uh, you know, a ton of people are like, oh, it can go to one. Like, you only need one. You literally only need one. With how consistent the chicken race uh deck is it can go through its deck until it gets that to that royal magical library and then it'll go stupid you know uh, yeah it hurts the consistency just a little bit but you know they only need one you know it, it's definitely a card that deserves to be banned because you you know chicken race FTK, you get this one card you summon it and you go stupid with it so you know it should be banned definitely definitely if it can get eroded and say you know once per turn you can remove three spell counts from this card to draw one card then yeah more power too you want to go ahead and summon more magic library activate three spell cards and draw one card and that's it fine more power to you you know you summon the zero attack monster but when you can keep going and going and going and going and going, that's when it gets stupid. So definitely these two should be banned. Real magic library and Dugan release I want to, I would like to see these two banned. All right, moving on. For uh, limited, I would like to see Bronick, uh limited down to one, lower the consistency. You know, you and I mean, Bronick is obviously the the center fold of the deck, being able to search for any Necros card. So uh, definitely go ahead and put that down to one, lower consistency. Uh, Unicorn down to one to uh, not only lower the the you know the Gin Lock with the Wobble Chain. You know, I'm not one of those people that I want the Wobble Chain ban. You know. Uh, if it gets banned, you know, uh, I wouldn't be surprised because, you know, it is kind of that card, but I'm not a proponent of being banned. Uh, you know, the gym lock, you can lower the consistency of that. Uh, you know, uh, not sure how good Cloud Blade will be, but, you know, if you want to put, like, Lava Chain down to one, because when I've been looking at Cloud Blade, it seems like they use multiple Lava Chains, and it seems like multiple Lava Chains has definitely been a problem. One, it's not so bad, but multiple, you know, even when it was, like, you know, Inferno, it's multiple uh, chains, but, you know, low, you know, lower Unicorn, you lower their, uh, you know, their kind of uh, Kaleido, uh, Herald, Searchy play, um, you know, you lower the Gin Lock, and then Unicorn is just effect in general from the hand to go ahead and discard it to target Necro's card in your graveyard and add it to your hand, uh, that as well, just because, uh, you know, we're lowering Unicorn, we're lowering the consistency of Unicorn, then we, I mean, Bionic, and we lower the consistency of Unicorn, we're just hurting the deck's consistency. You know, a ton of people are like, damn Trish, but I still think the deck would have bite, so I think lowering the consistency will make it uh, a much better deck to deal with, with its lowered consistency. Uh, this is just precedence from OCG, you know, I'm still a big fan of precedence. Uh, in my opinion, Michael is the most balanced of the three mirrors, in my opinion, but, you know, it is still like a, you know, a monster born. 
Uh, I'd say the only problem with Cycle is just Shriet, because of course, you know, if you have Shriet, then Shriet would count as the whole tribute of the Necro's monster that you're monster reborning, so, you know, Shriet is kind of dumb, you know. You know what? let me go ahead and put that in. Let me go ahead and put Shriet, actually, because I, I, I forgot about Shriet. I would like to see that card hit, you know. I'm not sure if I wanted that one or two. You know what? let's just put it in on a, as a happy medium. You know, happy medium, Shriet, lower the consistency. Because Shrit is the dumb one. Shrit, the whole tribute, the search for the warrior. You know what? I could probably say I wanted that one. I would probably want Shrit at one. Because Shrit is definitely the card. You know, because when you have Shrit and then you use Cycle, you use Shrit as the whole tribute, summon any Necro's monster, then search for another warrior uh, Necro's monster, and it's just dumb. And of course, this card is searchable through Rota. I'm not a big fan of the proponent of hitting Rota. You know, we finally got it back up to three. I'd say just hit the war the individual warriors who need to be addressed. Hit Shrit, you know, hit Altair slash Deneb, you know, hit them warriors. But, you know, to go ahead and lower Rota when we just got it back up to three, it's kind of hurt, you know, lower tier deck. So, you know, I'd definitely say Shrit should get hit. Shrit. I forgot about you, nigga. Yeah, shit, you should get hit. Because you make Cycle stupid. You make a lot of the mirrors stupid, you know. Uh, you make uh, Kaleidos... Kaleido, Kaleido's kind of broken, too, just because you know, it's like, oh, yeah, banish, and then summon. It's like, okay, well, that's Colossus and Kaleido. Oh, from your tribute, I can summon that. Yeah. So, uh, at least in that, uh, Cycle, you still got a tribute from your hand or graveyard. I mean, tribute monsters from your hand or graveyard. Wait, it's from your graveyard as well? Should be monsters from no from your hand or field. Then ritual summon one necro's ritual monster from your hand or graveyard. So yeah, you still got true monsters from your hand or field. So without Shriet, this card would be a little bit more balanced. So yeah, but when you just go ahead and go, you know, uh, tribute Shriet search tribute Shriet search. So yeah, I definitely think Shriet should get hit to one or two, but definitely the consistency. Uh, next, you know, you can, uh, I'm probably switching this up because probably a lot of people are saying Manju to one. I think that you know putting Senju down to one. We'll go ahead and I think send you to one will actually be a nice hit to Necro because Necros are the only ritual deck that actually utilizes Senju because of all of their monster Necros monsters get these, these additional effects when they're pitched, of course. You know, if we hit Senju, then really, I mean, of course, other ritual decks are phased, but not phased too much. You know, it's not like we took Manju away from them. I mean, I still think that we should go ahead and hit Manju down to two just because, you know, it's still Manju, you know. Uh, you know, cut their consistency in half for that normal summon, you know. Instead of triple Manju, triple Senju, just go ahead and put Senju down to one, Manju down to two, now you only have three instead of six. So, uh, I still think Manju still deserves to be semi-limited, you know. Kind of like with, uh, with, uh, with the OCG did, you know, Manju at two. But Senju at one, I think it's the correct choice. Because, really, who, who utilizes this card more than Necros? You know, does any other ritual deck... You know, it's better than us taking away your Menju, right? We still, you still have two Menju, and you know, Senju at one. The only deck that's really hurt by Senju being at one is, of course, Necro. So, uh, I think that you know, putting Senju down to one and keeping and putting Menju down to two, I think that might be a good hit. You know, good hit. Of course, Minecraft, this card should totally be at one. Like, I don't even know why it's back at three. This card busted, especially in multiple. But in general, it's just a busted card. You know, just being able, oh, your opponent surfs, your opponent did what their deck is supposed to do. Oh, go ahead and peek in their hand and rip out all of them copies. Like, no, 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 this card's busted. Uh, Definitely still, I want this card to hit. This card plus is still way too much. Way too much, you know. It's still just a really, really dumb card. Let's go ahead and put a wall chain. I don't want to see it banned. Oh, I spelled it wrong. I forgot the L. I want to see it banned, but I totally don't mind it at one. Uh, this card, this play plus is way too much. Just like, oh, yeah. S search, summon, draw, summon, draw, XE, pop, draw. Like, no, 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 no. Like, I, I've seen tons of people's banners and then they you know, just drop this off. I mean, this this play is still stupid. Like I don't even care. This, this soul star Sarah from Engine is still dumb. It's not as strong as Oscar, but it's still dumb, definitely, uh, and still deserves to be hit. So let's go ahead and set precedence. Oh, she just put Simon G down to one. That's fine. And uh, like I said, instead of saying uh, Insta Fusion, you know, I, it'd be fine if they put Insta Fusion down to one because you know Noden, but I doubt they'll do that. So. You know, if you go ahead and hit the refusion and the bombardment bird, I will be totally fine with that as well. And then Shrit, like I said, I already talked about him, the one or two. Uh, extract monsters, like I said, the wobble chain to one, you know. Uh, because usually stupid plays involve multiple wobble chains, you know. You usually only do the wobble chain once. If they want to go ahead and ban it, then, hey, more power to you, I guess. But, uh, you know, I'm totally fine with just one, you know. I, I've never used more than one low level chain. I use it once, you know. But it's generally the sacking degenerate decks that, you know, use it multiple times, you know, multiple low level chains. So, uh, 
I don't know. If you want to ban it, go ahead. Um, I won't be upset, but if you want to go ahead and put it down to one, I think that might be the correct choice, you know. Like I said, I'm not sure how, how well that will go ahead and affect, uh, you know, Clown Blade if the level chain is at one, but I don't know if it's banned, it'll probably hurt a lot more, but... I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm a little bit biased here, but I really like the level chain. Health my Ubel that you ban the level chain then ah, that that sucks. <laughs> so that's all I gotta say about that. Trish can come back, I don't care. He can come back to one. I don't care. Uh Constructor One I think is the correct hit, so yeah, Constructor One. I think Constructor One and El Shadow Fusion to two. Just because even if we put Constructor One El Shadow Fusion is still kind of a dumb card just because it's a clay spell card fusion card, so you can just go ahead and I feel like you're still gonna attempt to OTK and push for more damage using like Winda and stuff. So you know, and you know, it's still the dumber of the two cards. You know, uh, with Contract I have one, Shadow Fusion is more of a balanced card just because you only get that one Contract. So if I have a Trick Monster, you want to go El Shadow Fusion, Summon Construct. You got one. You know, one. You do it once, but after that, no. You know, you're not going to the Construct anymore. But you know, uh, one Construct I think is fine. El Shadow Fusion at two is okay. So there we go. Uh, Triv at one, and you know I'm a Tell Knight player. Triv should be at one. Triv is the dumb one. Uh, just being able to go ahead and put all my spells and traps back, put my Call to Hunt, it, put my Oasis, it, put my Fiendish Chains back in my hand and reuse them. Dumb. Bombardment Bird should go down to one because it's Saki with Ignite and Noden, so that's the card that should be hit. This is a placeholder before anybody says anything. Yeah, Alligator Star Dragon, fucking hit, fucking busted. Uh, Dante, uh, I say two, two, two Dante is fine. Oh, I forgot one card. I forgot one card for limited. Totally forgot one card for limited. Sir, Sir should probably be limited. Just cause Sir loops with Dante, you know. Uh, you know, if they want to go ahead and put Dante to two and Sir down to one, I'd be totally fine with that for the burning base hit. That's it. You know, that's it. But uh, if you kind of want to keep, if you want to keep Dante at three and just hit Sir, I'd be fine with that as well. But you know, Sir, Sir, Sir first, Sir one, Dante two, and then I guess Fire Leg. But you know, they only run one Fire Leg, so yeah. So that's not really doing much. Uh, so yeah. Uh, well, it's cards at two. Like I said, Manju at two, Senju at one. It's fine. Monster Gate can go up to two. I don't care. You know. Well, I'm surprised the reasoning went up before Monster Gate. I always thought Monster Gate was, you know, the more balanced card. It's actually Neg One, Tribute to Monster. Monster Gate's actually Neg One. No reasoning. You know, it could be a zero, but it's mostly just. Uh, it could be a Neg One, but it's mostly just a zero. So, you know, I thought I thought Monster Gate was going to move before reasoning, but hey. So Monster Gate can go up this to two. Uh, I'm a Klee player, and I think lose one turn should definitely go down to at least two. Uh, they could put it down to one, but I think probably two. Uh, you know, this card's actually... Actually, maybe one, actually, because I think Klee's only played two. Still a dumb card, though, so... Maybe, maybe, maybe... Maybe I'll go ahead and do that. Lose one turn to either one or two. Just because of how the card is in general. So, we'll go ahead and play you. So, two, lose... Lose one turn. It's not really a different card art. Just one's darker than the other. It's weird. Okay. So, yeah. Lose one turn to either one or two. You know, it's, it's a degenerate card. It's another Floodgate card, so no surprise there. Dragons and uh, last card, uh, Dragons being up to two or three. I don't care. You, know, you want to put up to two, then put up to three. More power to you. One just reaches up to three. I don't care. You know, I'm just tired of people hear, hearing people whine about this card. And, you know, as long as the Dragon Rose are banned, I don't care. You want to play Dragon du Dragoonities? More power to you. Synchro Summoning is like the weakest mechanic in the game right now, so have fun. Alright, so, uh, what else? Oh, cards are three. Shen can go up to three, who cares? As long as you don't have Gateway. Tomo King can go up to three, who cares? A Strange Spirit, sure. A Serpent, sure. Dragon Sword, sure. Charge, I don't like it, but I wouldn't be surprised, so I wouldn't be surprised to see this, you know. I'm still more, it's kind of like a wish list slash prediction list, you know. I'd rather not have it go up to three just because I don't like light swarms like that, but hey. Uh, Hornet can go up to three, who cares? Uh, the card trooper, I guess, can go up to three. I don't really care. Drag, I don't care. I don't see the precedence of it going up to three, but, you know, I guess OCG. But it seems like they would have done it last time, so I guess if Drag goes up to three, hey, let's get my back. And then these are some of the kind of controversial cards that I want to go ahead and talk about down here, and then that'll be the end of the video. So, uh, I play Cleese. I play Cleese, you know, and, you know, lose one turn, I think it's to be the first initial hit, because the deck was still good even without lose one turn, but with lose one turn, it's getting a little bit ridiculous, so I totally don't mind putting, you know, uh, uh, lose one turn down to, you know, one or two. I think they only play two, just because it kind of hinders them as well, because, you know, they're pendulum monsters, you, they can't push for more damage because they're pendulum summon, they turn to defense mode and effects are negated. Not that their effects negated, it's too much of a problem, but, you know, uh, you know, they're, uh, 
they're in defense mode, how they're going to kill you. So I think Cleese dropped this card down to two in the deck, so I don't think hitting it down to two would do much. I think probably one, just like Skill Drain, because in a sense it kind of is Skill Drain, so I wouldn't, you know, that'd be fun. And I'm a Klee player. But another hit for Cleese, and like I said, I am a Klee player, you need to hit the consistency of Scout. Scout's just a little too much. Now, I'm wondering if you hit Scout down to one, you know, Definitely lowers the consistency of you getting it. We wouldn't even have to hit Summoner's Art because, you know, I seriously doubt you're going to run triple Summoner's Art for only one scout. I mean, if you want to do that, more power to you. But, you know, triple Summoner's Art for what? One scout and one monolith? I mean, I guess you could up monolith up to two, but it's not necessary. Uh, you know, uh, but the only problem is if you MS to that scout, you know, are you out of the duel? You know, uh, I mean, I play, I play Cleaves without scout plenty of times. You know, I've, I've won duels without. Uh, scout just because you know there's still a pendulum based deck that has floodgates out the ass so uh, you know I've still done it but you know I'm just not sure if hitting scout down to one would that kill the deck or not I'm not sure but you know another card you, of course you can argue hitting is summoner's art summoner's art down to two so you know that would be another card to go ahead and lower its consistency uh, you know even maybe one you know scout to two scout at two summoner's art at one you know just lower this deck's consistency. It's too consistent with Scout. You know, it's already a deck that can run all floodgates, pendulum base, and has a broke ass boss monster and freaking killer. You don't need a card that can literally search any Klee card for 800. Like that. Mm. So, uh, it's one of these two. You know, probably th either this to one or this to one or two. But, you know, uh, this, this should be addressed. Uh,. Then another controversial one that we can go ahead and talk about is, of course, free my nigga Stratos. Uh, you know, Galactic God put up a video saying heroes need Stratos. Like, no, they don't. They don't need Stratos. Like, what are you talking about? Like, both in, uh, you know, the United States Nationals and in the European Nationals, heroes tops. Top 64. That's pretty good for a deck that's not even on the radar. So, clearly, heroes, they don't need Stratos. Uh, and got the guys like, oh, heroes need Stratos. You know, they're on a shit without Stratos. They need that Stratos. And I just feel like people are just kind of butthurt about Stratos just because they felt like it unjustifiably got hit when it did justifiably get hit. You know, people were like, oh, that, that, uh, what was it? I think it was like September 2013 list that, you know, we split apart from the OCG and Stratos got banned for the TCG. Everybody's like, oh, he's unjustifiably hit. You're trying to hit Stratos? You know, what is it, what is Stratos doing on there? He got unjustifiably hit. The reason why Shadows got hit is not for his searching effect. That's not the reason why he got hit. It's for this effect right here. This one. Where you could destroy spell cards up to the number of heroes on the field. Not only was Shadows being, you know, if he, it wasn't that format that was pretty, pretty much predominant just because of, uh, uh, it was kind of like the Dragon or Spellbook format. But heroes are still there just because of their uh, powerful OTK potentials through, of course, their exceed plays. And this backward destruction. You know, they banned Heavy Storm. They're stepping away. Uh, they're like, all right, we're banning Heavy Storm. We're going to drop all the back row down, you know, bottomless down, uh, you know, Capulse down, Torrental down, one down. We're, we're, we're banning Heavy Storm, but we're cutting the back row. Now we're going to ban Stratos because Stratos is essentially doing the same exact thing with multiple heroes. You're going to be able to go ahead and summon Stratos and then clear that back row that we just hit, you know. And that's clearly one of the reasons, you know. And people are whining about Stratos saying that the heroes need it over some fucking divine win. Get that shit out of here. You're not going to play that shit. Don't, 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 I want to play Divine Wind. You wouldn't even play it even if Stratus was here. Don't give me that bullshit. It's all about Dark Law. It's all about Dark Law. So don't give me that bullshit. That's not it. You don't need the searching. You're one of the most consistent decks in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. What? Triple Hero Lives, Triple Rota, Triple, uh, the Emergency Call, Triple Shadow Mist, Triple, uh, Just Blaze Man, who can also summon Shadow Mist in search. You know, you're one of the most consistent decks in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! And you're complaining about a card that gives you an additional search. It's not the search, it's the popping of the back row. That's the problem, you know? And, you know, was, in my opinion, it was justifiably banned. You know, with its go-ahead and summon, search for Bubble Man, special summon Bubble Man, XC, freaking detach the Stratos, play, you know, uh, at that time, Monster Reborn, summon Stratos, who, of course, his effect is not once per turn, so that's another thing that's super busted, is, uh, you know, summon Stratos again, Stratos plays for another Bubble Man, especially summon that Bubble Man, you know, go into a freaking uh, Blade Armor Ninja and OTK the living shit out of your opponent, because Stratos is just good like that, uh, you know, it, it's pretty obvious that he, he, he was banned, you know, there's no, he was unjustifiably banned, now nah, it's pretty clear, you know, um, normal or special summoned, not once per turn, the back row popping, the hero searching, the 18 beater. Yeah, I, can, I can see it. You know, I can see why they went ahead and banned him. So uh, I decided I'm going to go ahead and, you know, reason with the hero players because 
I'm tired of hearing these people say free my nigga Stratos, but when they free Stratos, they don't move anything. You know, it's just Stratos to one, and then nothing else changes. And I don't think Stratos can come back without you know at least some tweaks. So, uh, first tweak I want to talk about, just like the OCG, Bubble Man should go down to two. You know, Bubble Man has has a very high OTK potential with Stratos, as we clearly saw in the past. So putting Bubble Man down to two, just like the OCG, I think it's fine. You know, they put it down to one, and they're like, oh, that's a little bit too much. This still to two. So Bubble Man to two is fine. Uh, definitely think that e-emergency calls should get limited. And you're probably wondering, like, whoa, what should we get limited? I actually sat there and I thought and sat down and thought about this. I'm like, but yes, OCG has three emergency calls, but they have one rota. We have three rota, so if we put e-emergency call down to one, wouldn't it be the same? Actually, it'd be better for us in the TCG because we could still use Goblin Burn. Actually, Goblin Burn would be a little bit worse because I think Stratos missed timing. When this card is special summoned, there's a difference between if and when. I think let me let me read like Armageddon Knight because I think Armageddon Knight says when too. Yeah, so if you go Goblinburg summon Stratos, or Goblinburg turn to defense mode, Stratos would miss timing. So, uh, yeah, you know, this is an exchange of it, of course, but uh, I think that's fair. You know, OCG, you have triple E call, one rota over here in TCG, you have triple rota, one E call, so it's essentially the same, four, four. You know, four searcher cards, I think that's uh, totally justified if E-Call went down to one. And I think, you know, that's just reasonable. Because then we'd essentially be just like, OCG, you know, we still have the triple rota for, you know, the Goblin Burg, so you can still go Goblin Burg and then uh, summon Shadow Mist, of course, which I think is if, yeah, if, if this, uh, if this card is special summon, so that's why you don't miss the timing, like if you would with Stratus, of course. But uh, I think that's totally justified. And I was thinking maybe Shadow Mist down to two. Uh, you know, just to lower the consistency of your searching a little bit and uh, lessen your dark log plays a little bit, but maybe that's a little bit going too far. I think maybe this to two and uh, this down to one might be totally justified in bringing Stratos back. There you go. You happy? You know, we still got triple call hunt and triple oasis, and you probably wonder how the deck went now. Probably because you know they he had heroes on the field, and he probably went you know during the end phase call hunted or wasted some Stratos, pop that back there that you just set, clear it up, clean it up, you know. So. You know, along with, you know, Dark Wall and, you know, their ability to go into Infinity. There's a couple of things, but, you know, Stratos was a, you know, a nice hand and, uh, you know, putting in that work. So, no surprise there. All right, another controversial thing we want to go ahead and talk about is who did be hit between these two. Personally, I don't care, you know. Uh, if we lower Deneb down to two, it lowers the consistency, but, you know, really, you only need one Deneb. So, maybe hitting down Deneb down to two really wouldn't do much. So, maybe Altair down to two. I see a ton of people saying Altair down to one. I'm like, alright, well, Altair's at one. Tonites are dead. You know, you go, you know, Deneb, search for Altair. Altair, summon Deneb, search for. You know, so maybe Altair down to two would be uh, totally fine and justified. You know, maybe Altair down to two, Trib down to one. And like I said, I'm a Tonite player, so there you go. And then the last controversial one, uh, Regeki versus Dark Hole. I personally, I'd rather have Regeki ban in Dark Hole at three, just because I feel like Dark Hole is a much more balanced card, because, you know, you still have the threat of wiping your own field. Yes, you know, generally you're probably going to use it just to wipe your opponent's field, but if that's the case, then this is still the exact same one, Regeki, two Dark Hole, three Dark Hole, three. If you're all your intent purposes is just to wipe your opponent's field, it's exactly the same, except in this, you don't wipe your opponent's field, you just, I mean, you don't wipe your field, you just wipe your opponent's field. Like, I don't even understand how this card is even at one, this card's still only at two. Like, it doesn't make any sense, but, hey. Uh, I'm not Konami, right? So, uh, yeah, there we go. So this video didn't take as long as I thought it would. You know, about 20-something minutes. So, uh, waiting for that ban list. Hopefully some of these things that I have on, uh, some things that I would like to see on this upcoming list are actually on the list. Um, crossing my fingers. So I guess you can count, on it, count this as another prediction. So, you know, I will chalk up a point for me if the, some of these things actually occur on this upcoming list. But, uh, yeah, um, uh, totally uh, looking forward to it so sorry I had to spam you guys with these ban list uh, videos but you know they're a lot of fun to do they're really interactive and uh, I get a lot of views <laughs> so uh, looking forward to seeing what you guys have to think about what I think and what I want to hear what you guys think I want to hear in the comment section below what you guys want to see on this upcoming list and the comment section below so uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed this little ban list talk probably hopefully the last one before we actually get the true ban list so um, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And yeah, looking forward to seeing what you guys have to think. All right. Thanks for watching.